This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. This, we started about two years ago on this, uh, on this journey. Uh, I had the idea to take uh, what I described to the legislature as a significant amount of money uh, for our Appalachian, Appalachian communities. Uh, went to the legislature and uh, they, they agreed. I want, I want to thank them very, very much uh, for, for that help. We would not be here without the legislature's cooperation and their help and their vision um, to the people who really were very helpful. Um, when we look at the money we set aside, uh, we set aside uh, $500 million uh, for Appalachia. Uh, the goal of this program is to really reinvest in our Appalachian communities with several objectives. One, reinvigorate local communities. Two, rebuild our Appalachian economies. Three, redevelop our Appalachian main streets and downtowns. And finally, uh, reignite the pioneer spirit of those who helped build this, this great, great state. So far, we've announced around $144 million in grant awards, including $64 million for 28 projects that will increase access to health care in our Appalachian region. Uh, we did this a few weeks ago. Today, though, we're announcing our next round of Appalachian Community Grant Awards, which is primarily focused on revitalizing local downtowns, attracting visitors uh, to really experience uh, Appalachian's recreational opportunities and cultural sites, and frankly, just the beauty of this part of Ohio. Uh, you know, people travel uh, all over the country and go on vacation from Ohio and other states. Uh, but I don't know a region that is more beautiful or a place that's more beautiful than Ross County and Vinton County and the other counties of our Appalachian region. What we're announcing today, we're calling Appalachian Downtowns and Destination Initiative. Uh, today we're announcing $154 million, 30 projects, 12 counties. So $154 million, 30 projects, 12 separate counties. The good news uh, for you all is eight of those projects are right here in Ross County. First is the Yoxon G Riverside District project, uh, and that will receive $35 million. Uh, that's the biggest one. Let me, uh, this has been part of uh, Chillicothe's grand plan to visually and economically transform this community and further enhance the offerings of Ross County as a global destination for historical and cultural tourism. And I do mean global. Uh, funding will be used to make transformational improvements here at this park, uh, the reconfiguration of the roads to improve park access, and the construction of a new region-defining amphitheater. The nearby Mighty Children's Museum will be renovated and expanded to add STEM-related programming for our older children. Here at the Armory, this building will be transformed to house the Chillicothe Farmer's Market, and it will be become home to the new UNESCO World Heritage Visitors Center. And we all know the, 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 the great news that we had Last year, the Hopewell Ceremony Earthworks are now part of Ohio's first UNESCO World Heritage listing. People will be coming here from all over the world. And what the experts tell us when they've had sites in other places that have been designated, uh, they say just the, the, the number of people coming just sort of slowly builds up over the next three or four or five years. And you're going to see that. You're going to see that in Ross County. You're going to see more and more visitors who are coming here as the world becomes aware of, of really what, what, what we have to show them. Uh, finally, more than $2.5 million in grant funding will go towards enhancing the experience for visitors to Ross County's four earthwork sites. Um, site, site Earthworks, the Mound City, the Hopewell Mound Group, and the Hopeton Earthworks. Uh, all four will be places where people are coming. Improvements will include the construction of pavilions, new restrooms, parking improvements, other enhancements to make these sacred sites more accessible to all visitors. Uh, we can't improve the sites themselves, but as more and more people come here, we darn well better be 
welcoming them here uh, with facilities and their ability to enjoy it. Uh, and not, it's not just the people from all over the world, it's also the citizens and throughout the state of Ohio. In addition to all this, around seven million will go towards repairing the Paint Creek Recreational Trail and revitalizing the streetscapes in Bainbridge and Frankfurt. So that's a uh, total of, I guess, about $45 million uh, for, the, for the county. So we have a total today, we're announcing 30 projects, 12 counties. We're announcing today with more announcements coming. So as you can see, a lot, of, a lot of announcements today. Uh, we'll have more announcements in in, in, in the future. Uh, let me let me talk about uh, someone who has played a major role in this, uh, as well as John Kerry, and that is Lily, Lydia Mahalik. Uh, Lydia uh, is not only handling the, the maps here, but uh, she happens to also in her day day job uh, heads up the Department of Development. And uh, I kind of kid her sometimes, but no one's handled more money in this administration than Lydia. Uh, so if you don't know Lydia, she's a good person to get to know and uh, in, in the future. Lydia, why don't you come on up here and talk a little bit about uh, this, this project and what we're announcing today. I appreciate it. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, it is so nice uh, to have this moment uh, and to share it together. Uh, with, with all of you. Thank you so much for being here with us. You know, I've got what I would say uh, is probably the best job in the cabinet. I think baby Mary Mertz uh, might be up there Parks. with me. Yeah, parks are good. Uh, but I have the incredible honor of getting the chance to spend time in our local communities. Uh, I get to talk to people and to listen uh, about listen and learn about their hopes and their dreams for the future. And often uh, we have the opportunity uh, to help communities uh, make those dreams uh, come true, figuring out the right amount uh, of targeted investment and financial support can really help clear the way uh, for progress. And every single one of those stories uh, changes the life of a family, or a business, or a community. But today, we are absolutely changing the future of a region for hundreds, maybe thousands of families, and businesses, and communities. And you've just heard firsthand about the defining investment here that we're going to do in Ross County. Uh, we've had the announcement earlier this morning in MacArthur there in Vinton County, and there'll be so many others across the Appalachian region. But what's truly remarkable about each and every single one of these projects uh, is that it's a vision that has been created uh, by the leaders. And a vision that not only honors uh, what's already here, but it also dares to dream big, really big for the future. Under your direction, Governor, you told these communities to dream big and that they have. And these leaders, they're not just talking the talk, right? They're, they've been rolling up their sleeves and taking concrete steps in order to build a brighter future for tomorrow uh, for everyone in their communities. And it's really an inspiring example of what happens when passion meets purpose. Uh, and it's a privilege uh, to have the opportunity uh, to be a part of that. Um, as you've heard, this is the second round of funding. Uh, it's $154 million. Uh, and here uh, in, in Ross County, it's going to mean uh, an awful lot uh, for uh, the, the community. Uh, in Chillicothe, that means reimagining uh, these 48 acres. And we're going to reimagine it into a new and modern park where you're going to create a place where the community can come together, where lots of children can run and play, and a farmer's market that has the opportunity to provide underserved neighborhoods with local, fresh, and affordable foods. But the vision you uh, have here today is more than just about improving a park. As the governor was mentioning, for more than a decade, partners uh, from the Ohio History Connection, the National Park Service, 
and the federally recognized American Indian tribes who trace their ancestry back to Ohio, they committed themselves to achieving this UNESCO designation. And now that they've cleared that incredibly high bar, it's our turn. It's our turn to commit ourselves to creating an experience that allows our visitors to appreciate, to understand, and to be inspired by these really complex masterpieces of landscape architecture. We know uh, that the UNESCO designation has incredible meaning. I mean, what else has that designation? The pyramids, the Great Wall of China, these all are all places that draw visitors from across the globe. And now those visitors, those same visitors are going to be coming here to learn why Ohio has been the heart of it all for more than 2,000 years. These projects, uh, they're all breathing life into communities and we're driving generational change. And then the result, they are the result of countless hours of collaboration where leaders came together and you brainstormed solutions to some of the really uh, complex and real challenges that have been facing our communities uh, in our state in this region. And, and that, honestly, that's the secret. You've unlocked the secret. The secret is collaboration. It's a recipe for genuine, tangible change that leaves a lasting and positive impact on every single person, every business, every town in the Appalachian region. So Governor, I want to thank you for your vision for this program and for in Ohio where everyone, no matter where they're from, can live up to their God-given potential. <laughs> failed you over there. I, I appreciate that. Uh, and I want to give a special thank you as well to Director Carey and his team from the Governor's Office of Appalachia. Uh, they've been working very diligently over the past couple of years to bring this program to fruition. And the best part is that Appalachia is their home too. And they're committed uh, to working tirelessly to transform it. And of course, uh, last but not least, the communities. Every single one of you not just here in Ross County. Thank you for imagining what this region can be. You've stepped up. You've stepped up uh, with courage and with a vision and a real sense of duty to create an incredible future for our state. Uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see all these projects come to fruition. And I can't wait to see the next chapter of the Appalachian region that we will build together. Thank you so much. Thanks, Director. Let me now ask the mayor to come up. Mayor Luke Feeney. Mayor. Good morning. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but after hearing numbers like 45 million for Ross County and 35 million for Chillicothe. It's hard for me to process much else. So I'd like to get through some thank yous this morning. Um, but you'll, you'll, uh, you'll understand if I'm a little taken aback and emotional. Uh, today marks just a momentous occasion for Chillicothe and Ross County. We gather here this morning with our hearts full of gratitude and excitement and to express our deepest appreciation to the governor, to Director Mihalik, and to the state for this award. This grant will not just be a catalyst for transformation, but as Director Mihalik mentioned and the governor mentioned, it is a true testament to the power of collaboration and vision. Governor, Director Mihalik, thank you. Thank you for recognizing the potential of Appalachia, the potential of Chillicothe, and the potential of Ross County. Thank you for believing in our vision for the future. Your support and commitment to the region and our community are truly appreciated. And to the Devar Department of Development, who tirelessly reviewed countless applications, I believe they had over two billion in requests. We are humbled and honored that you saw value in our proposals. 
Your decision to invest in Chillicothe and our future, historic tourism, and all of the region, tells us about your dedication to preserving our rich heritage and fostering economic growth in the region. Behind every successful grant application, there's a team, and this team is special. I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude first to the county commissioners. Working with you is a true pleasure, and I'm honored to work with you. Devin Shoemaker from the county, who formerly served on city council and helped create the vision that we're funding today. Thank you. Aaron. Aaron Stanley from the Park District and my own team at the city, Clint Boggs and Trisha Hall, you should be proud of what you've helped accomplish today. And each and every partner, each and every partner who helped us pull this off. Special thanks to OVRDC, John Hemmings and his team, Buckeye Hills, Chastity and her team, Mayor's Partnership, uh, Tiffany Baldwin, Tammy Leonardo, Melody Young, this was a true team effort and collaboration. We've proven that when we unite our strengths and our resources, we can truly achieve remarkable feats. This grant is not just a financial windfall, it is a game changer for Chillicothe. It will enable us to revitalize the building behind me and make this park a destination that is worthy of the UNESCO World Heritage designation. It will ensure that there are unforgettable experiences for visitors from far and wide. And beyond the tangible benefits, it represents a new chapter in Chillicothe's story. It's a chapter that is defined by resilience, innovation, and boundless potential. As we look to the future, I'm filled with optimism for what lies ahead. This grant will not only enhance our tourism offerings, our economic development, and stimulate that economic development. It'll create jobs, strengthen our sense of community pride, and is a testament to what we can achieve when we dream boldly, work together, and never lose sight of our collective visions. In closing, I want to express my deepest gratitude once again to our governor, the state, and all of our partners who have made this transformative grant a reality. Together, we have laid the foundation for a brighter, more prosperous future for Chillicothe, one that will be felt and cherished for generations to come. Thank you. And one of the things I want to emphasize, I kind of leave you with this thought. When we decided, and the legislature decided to put this money into Appalachia, we did not do it and say, we know where the money needs to go. What we said was that, that the people in the local communities will know how to spend that money. And when you, well, all these grants are announced, you're gonna see there's all kinds of different things. There's a lot of downtown work. There's a lot of, for those that are on the river, Ohio River, you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of things that revitalize the, the riverfront. Uh, you're gonna see, you've already, you've already announced a number of combination of education and medical, uh, putting, putting, uh, uh, medical facilities, right in schools. So a lot of different things, but each community was making those decisions and they were deciding what was what was in the best interest because I think that's, that's who knows. Uh, the mayor, the county commissioners, the other leaders of Ross County are gonna know more than, than we do uh, in, in Columbus. So uh, I look forward to coming back uh, here. Fran and I have been here many, many times. We think we've seen the play Tecumseh six or seven times, but uh, that's what happens when you have kids, uh, eight kids and 27 grandkids. And anyway, we'll be continue, continue to do that. Uh, but there's so many things to see. Uh, and with now with the, the, the World Heritage de you know, designations, uh, I think the rest of the world is going to see what you know. And that is just what a magnificent place uh, Ross County is. Thank you very much. It's great to have the governor and uh, Lieutenant Governor the legislature to have such great support for our region and recognizing the opportunities that we have in the region and it's not that 
it's poor Appalachia. Now it's Appalachia on offense, moving things forward, respecting the past, but looking forward to the future. Southern Ohio is on the rise. This was a big day for us. I think the whole ask was $52 million, and we learned today that we're going to get $45 million of that to make some of our dreams come true. This was a different type of grant. This was the Appalachian Community uh, grant that was focused on things that we don't normally find money for. So they went to the communities and said, give us your wish list. And these are those projects that came out of the people, the boots on the ground. So it's, it's a great day for us. Uh, as Director Kerry and I were going through these projects and evaluating them, and we knew that we were going to be awarding these. Uh, you know, the two of us were like, this is unbelievable. And so I can only imagine how the local people feel on a day like today. A lot of hard work, a lot of, uh, a lot of thought uh, that has gone into this particular uh, plan, this vision. And uh, without our locals, uh, you know, Ohio would not be as great uh, as it is today. And so, as a former mayor, I'm just really proud of all the work that's going on uh, in and across the region. Kevin, I don't think this part of the state's had this kind of attention since the Rhodes administration. Well, Jim Rhodes, of course, grew up in Appalachia. I didn't grow up here, but I grew up in a you know small small community, and I, I think I understand, uh, uh, you know. Local, local communities, but uh, look, Jim Rhodes was a great advocate for Appalachia. He was also a great, ab ab great advocate. Jim Rhodes was really an advocate, if you think about it, for Appalachia, for education. Um, those were kind of the two big things that, that he did. And if you look at the announcement we made today, we just came from Rio Grande, for example, uh, a facility that's going to be a new place that's going to be built right in MacArthur. Uh, and you're going to see that education component really expand as well. It's hard to even put words on to uh, how big that will be for the community. Uh, transformational, game changer, all of those combined, uh, and then some. So I think, uh, uh, you know, we've been daydreaming for a couple years, really. Uh, so now um, we get today to celebrate, and then tomorrow the hard work begins of, of the design and the community input and really making sure that uh, what we end up with is something that will just really change the community for years to come.